lights on. Well, I hiked in last night starting at 10 something and got there almost like a four. She said she didn't sleep because she was worried about me. And then I told her to keep hiking because I'm tired. I need to take a nap or something too. I want to enjoy the trail. If I go at her pace, I'm not going to enjoy it. So I'll try really hard to catch her. And I told her to try to do 25 to 30 miles today. So we've only done four together before we parted ways and it's already 10 o'clock so I hope she can go far. And I had to see her for a short time and then got to say goodbye. So it was worth it. Made another mile eating a rice cake. It's actually very good. It's like a honey rice cake or caramel or something. But the chocolate rice cakes are the best though. Like only 60 calories, but oh my God, it tastes like an amazing cookie. No, mm, that's pretty good. I like being out in the woods. Ooh, I have a bunch of stuff. Oh my God, look at my beard. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, embrace being out here. I have snacks for later, my beer. <laughs> I think three and a half hours to do five miles. But a lot of downhills coming up, but not like a steep downhill, just a low grade. So maybe I can do some miles. I only got like two or three hours of sleep from night hiking. It was worth it though. Oh, that mushroom is crazy. It's like a painting. Wow. Isn't that a crazy mushroom? I've seen some gnarly mushrooms, but that's like a work of art. Then we got another mushroom here, but I think we got, oh, we got knocked over. Yeah, it's upside down. Somebody must have, or an animal did it. Yeah, that's not as pretty. Kind of looks like bread. Oh, here we go, bread. Yeah. <laughs> I have never seen so many mushrooms in my life. I would love to hike with somebody who was like a mushroom expert and could teach me which mushrooms you can eat and which ones will kill you. <laughs> that would be important. But I love mushrooms. God, they're really awesome. Baked mushrooms, everything. Remember, I'm not on a diet. I'm gonna lose 200 pounds, but I'm going to do it with exercise and hard work. Oh no, that's like, there's no magic pill? No! <laughs> if only there was a magic pill, right? <sighs> but I hope my heart loves me. Oh, God, it's stinky. There's no lid, the lid's down there. Oh. These are like, I guess, two-star pit toilets because it still has a roof, but oh. no TP, anything. But oh, I stayed at this place. It's a cabin. So I think I only did like 13 something miles yesterday. But my feet just killed me. I got blisters and my big toenails coming undone. In the camp, out of camp at sea. Big rockets for nothing. I feel like I. Got a cry from a tourist lost near the west coast. Dude.
do, 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 do. Said he couldn't go on because his phone had just died. Had no map, no bushcraft, but he did have a long spork. Do, 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 do. Now he's hopelessly lost because mountains don't care. I don't need you to worry for me because I'm all right. I don't need you to tell me your miles today. I don't care what you say anymore. This is my hike. Go ahead with your app hike. I'm right at home. It was a pleasure when I got to meet Second Chance. It was nice to meet Sochi and Daredevil too. I'm still hiker trash, but you can kiss my ass if you think your fast miles mean a damn thing. First they tell you you can't hike it through at your own pace. Do, 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 do. Then they tell you you're slower than everyone else. Oh, but finally you learn that it isn't just a big race. You enjoy it the most, the slower you go. I don't care who you're chatting with when you are online. I don't care how much money you spend on your gear. I don't care what you say anymore, this is my hike. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Go ahead with your app hike. I'm right at home. I don't need a dumb app to tell me where I can camp. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't need a device to show me the way. I don't care what you say anymore. This is my hike. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Go ahead with your app hike. I'm right at home. Yay, beautiful. Simper Gumby. Alright, I slept right here. There's an upstairs you can sleep, but that ladder looks painful to climb. Somebody left out a bottle of whiskey. I don't know if that was completely full when they left it. So I stayed at the shelter last night and I really wanted to keep hiking but I didn't really sleep the night before and then my feet, I was in so much pain and I remember that pain. That's when it gets to the point that you need days to recover. So my feet feel good now. My big toe now is kind of ripping up and blisters on the sides of my toe so that's a good sign. Shoes are a little bit too small. Yeah, I need to probably trim my toenails down deeper. But, uh, yeah, blisters, like on the pinky toes, the sides of the big toes. And Simper Gumby sang a song. He actually sang some really great songs. About, it is just for great. So, he's just out here. This is my third time running into him. I ran into him in Hiker Heaven. I've ran into him at PCT Days. I ran into him here at the cabin. That he was originally going southbound. The first 700 southbound. Now he's going north. And he's just out here. Nothing's about miles for him. He's just having the time of his life. <laughs> Reconnecting with nature. Being outside. So. I think that's great. He's just cutting firewood too for everybody. That was super nice. And. He actually brought up water, and I think his plan is he's going to go see the hot springs. A little bit off trail, like a day and a half off trail hiking. But he has a very good plan. I love that. love that guy. So I hope I run into him a fourth time. If anybody's wondering, Little B sent me a message on the inReach. She's 10 miles ahead of me. Is where she camped.
I was the first hiker when I went to bed. I mean, I went to bed at 6.37 last night. So I slept a long time, slept on the floor. And a few day hikers went by. I was like, oh, this is crazy. Like you just sleep on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, mostly I like sleeping in the dirt. You look at my legs. <laughs> sleeping on a floor, that's luxury. And a bed, you're a king. All right, time to push some miles here. But it's not about the miles. It's about the smiles. Uh, as long as I go at my own pace, it's like, ah, it feels really good. Future reference, if you ever hike with anybody and you come up with a plan, it's very important if everybody wants to have a good time and everybody's cool with it. The slowest person should get to pick the miles for the day. And they go at that pace. Or if you're very good, if you know the pace of the slower person, you can kind of push them a little bit and you can set the pace and they follow behind you. So that's kind of cool. Just a thought. I'm gonna shoot for a 40 today. And may only get to do a 10 or 15 but aim high aim small miss small anybody else remind you of the patriot here uh when his sons he's gonna go rescue his other son and he just wanted peace and it didn't happen war knocked at your door but i'm thinking of that like up here aim small miss small <laughs> so we lost a pct hiker a few days ago and he was German. And the whole thing was just sad. That he was just hiking along in a tree. It wasn't even that big. Just fell over. So there's nothing I can say or anything, but my heart definitely goes out to the family. And I'm just looking at all these trees here and stuff like that. And this fire must be very old because they'll close the trail for years and years. But I think he died about 100, 120 miles back. And just walking over a bridge and a tree fell. And you always think like, oh, you can dodge it. No, <laughs> just think about even if it's not even a huge branch, how fast that would fall a split second you would not really have any time to react. That kind of got me thinking and everybody's kind of talking about it and it's it's sad. So and it makes me always have that feeling like if you have something to say, say it today. Don't wait until tomorrow. Yeah. Don't wait till tomorrow to change your life. You can start now. 